Hello and welcome back to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition. I'm your host Lord Fenton and today's Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition video. We're on Chapter 4 Reaper's Coast. This time we're going to do the two side quests, treat it like cattle, and we're going to finish up Business Rivals. Yeah, we're going to take a little detour in this one. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Divinity Original Sin 2 videos like this. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you update my content and more. So make sure you have Pet Pal for this one because we're going to talk to cows and we're going to get the Tree Like Cattle side quest. We're going to get this one done in one shot. Help us! Shush, Mabel! Don't you shush me, Geraldine. I'll talk to whomever I like. Shh! They're still here! I know they're still here. My apologies for my idiot friend, but we could really use your help. You won't believe it. He won't believe it, Mabel. He'll think we're mad cows. Truth is, kind sir, that we are not, in fact, cows. At least not as such. We're people. Captives, to be exact. Enslaved by the witch. Uh, you're not here to visit Alice Elysian, are you? I told you not to trust him. No, you didn't, Geraldine. Now shush, I'm going to ask him anyway. But what if she finds out? Geraldine, how could things possibly be worse than they are now? I can think of a few ways. Mabel, they can hear us whispering. I know, Geraldine, I know. Now shut up. Look, we really do need your assistance. Just get us something to drink. What my friend here means to say, kind sir, is that there's a cure for our condition. Alice Elysian has it in her house. If we could drink it, we could then regain our former forms, as it were, and steal away. Don't mention the rats. For God's sake, Geraldine. What rats? They're just ordinary rats. Nothing special or awful about them at all. Wouldn't let them worry you. The witch ain't here. What my friend wishes to say is that Alice went into the Cloisterwood collecting herbs and hasn't been seen in some time. But that there, just down the way, is her house. She has a frog. You can't miss it. Would you mind awfully procuring for us a small potion that Alice Elysian keeps in her cellar? We'd rather like to, you know, assume our rightful forms and toddle off. Thanks ever so. Thank the gods. I humbly thank you. You won't regret it. Don't be disgusting. We hardly know you. Sure. Geraldine. Oh, right, yeah, disgusting. Sorry, better not. Now, I have the side quest tree like cattle. Already got one of the ingredients to make the witch's brew. Yeah, the potion to cure one of the cows. We're going to get another potion and the rest of the ingredients. The augmenter is in Cloisterwood. That is west of here. You can get that there, or if you saved it from chapter one, that is good. And this is the key. This is where it's at. So I'm going to talk to this toad with Pet Pal. Yeah, make sure whoever's doing the Pet Pal is in the lead. If and yeah, he's the one who has Pet Pal. I'm going to talk to this toad just for some fun information. So here we uh, go. Oh my God, stop looking at me. You're making my venom itch. Baltus, it's very hard to pronounce, but still, it's around here. I'll put time sense of video on and show you where I got it. Just go around here, just like you did with the key. So now I'm gonna go in and I'll show you where the witch's eye is at. Yeah, you see, the witch's eye is the capone you're gonna need. That is the third ingredient. We're gonna cure both of them t for today's video. That's real easy to find. So we're inside the house. Go ahead and loot everything up. I mean, do loot it up. So I'm gonna do that now. Let me grab that eye and voila, there you go. I got the eye. So next part is to go ahead and search the house because we're going to go downstairs afterwards. Still, I'm going to go ahead and show everybody the eye. That is one. And the other one is that. And the last one is the augmenter. So I'm going to take out my mains inventory. It's the uh, one flower that you use to make potions. That's real easy to uh, tell. Yeah, so grab that one. If you've been saving those uh, flowers, for us, I layer axe in the game. That's good for you. If not, cloister wood, that's where you're going. You're going west for that. And also, if you uh, do need to get the key I read instead of just having a uh, four in thievery, you got to go west to kill a person 
who's already dead. She's undead, and you gotta figure a way how to get her out of the fire. That's why I read Lise. Instead, we're doing the thieves' path. Yeah, breaking the entry. Where you got the key? I'm gonna show everybody how to uh, lockpick. You gotta have four in thievery. If you do not, guess what? You're gonna have to do the hard way. I respect my character mostly out of stealth, just in order to get thievery. Yeah, I just put one point for stealth for now. I'm just really using it for uh, what do you call it? Just a uh, quick uh, going sneaky, but stealth is kind of useless in the game. I advise putting all points in thievery from here on out if you're building a thief like I am. So this is the area we're gonna go down. Go ahead, use your thief to to lock pick with four thievery, and voila, we're down here. Now the cows did warn about the rats. It's a hint. Separate. You're a person who could teleport to the other side. I'm going to show you how to uh, get to that toad too, or the frog. Uh, yeah, the rats are dangerous. Yeah, I'll just tell you that ahead of time. So you're going to see me interact with the rat, which is pretty funny. And you're going to get what's ahead because of this uh, rat we're going to talk to. Yeah, hello. Stand back a bit there. I'm not feeling very well. Cow said not to worry about the rats. Yeah, exploding rats. Not the type of rats that bite yet. No, exploding rats. Yeah, rats that blows up. Now, there's a whole bunch of them. Now, in order to get rid of them, here's how you have to uh, do it. First of all, you need to clear a little bit of ways that keep on respawning. So, all you need to do is pull out your arrow, a bow and arrow or crossbow and attack the, the uh, we call the holes in the wall. There's a total of four of them. And if you do need to heal up, go ahead and use some healing abilities like I'm doing. So, this way, I don't have to... Uh, you know, go in there more dangerous or waste a potion. So what I'm going to do is uh, just uh, also make it rain too. So this way I get rid of the poison. You got to watch out for that too. So there are three more you need to shoot. And in order to shoot on the PC version, you got to hold down your left control button and then uh, aim. That's it. That's why I'm using range on this one. If fans very useful, you can use Loche too with magic. But I'm going to be honest. She don't have much hit points compared to Ifan, and he has better armor. And I'm just shooting things up with my uh, fire spell too, just to clear a little bit. Once you clear all four, then the rats there will stay there, and then the room will be basically clear. Otherwise, they keep on respawning, and you die. I tried just the uh, go through it method. Yeah, two characters died. I tested this out just for giggles. It was not fun at all. Do not worry about the rats, uh, where you call it, points. Going down, yeah, don't worry. I don't care about them. Even they'll be hostile, yeah. So, what you gotta do is keep on uh, being careful. Keep on shooting those uh, holes in the wall, and that's it. That's how you solve the puzzle. It's a little bit of violence, a little bit of combat against rats, but oh well. I don't know about higher difficulties, but still, you just gotta be careful. And I'm gonna heal myself really quick, and whoo, that was a close one. We got one more left, and then there is a lever. Once I uh, take that out... Then I'm going to hit the lever. The door will open. And of course, wherever rats are there, they'll uh, stay there until they're gone. And then room will be mostly cleared if you killed all the rats. Yeah, this one's very simple. Just shoot the holes, get to the lever, get in the room. And then uh, Bruce uh, recipe is there. Also another potion too, which is good. Yeah, I'm just clearing a little bit more of a path. And then I'll be able to go in. I'm just being careful at this point. Yeah. It's not much rats to do, but still, I'm just being really careful. If I need to dip into my arrow supply, I will do it. I could be able to uh, make some others too, thanks to this game's wonderful crafting system that got improved from the first game. Yeah, the uh, first game, what happened was is you had to spec points into it. Not this game, nah. It just depends on your character's level. You get more powerful stuff, and now we're in the room, so... We're going to go ahead and search everywhere because we're going to find the ingredients and whatever what we need. Oh, wow. Those are some nice potions. We'll take that too. Those are always good to sell. Yeah. Take care of everything that is not nailed down, everyone, because you're really not going to come back here unless you're really jonesing for items to sell any items. Still, just go ahead and take everything. I'll take some garlic too. You may never know. Probably a good idea to, uh, you know, in case I need to craft something. We're almost there, and all we need to do is, uh, besides me, reorganize my inventory. So this way I don't get things confused, is take the potion. And of course, like I said, again, left alt button will highlight what you need to uh, find. And we're going to go ahead and grab that. That's it right there. What we need, the potion, that is one of two. The other one we're going to make. So I'm going to show everybody how to uh, make it. Also, over there inside the cell is the, uh, where you call it, 
the uh, cage where the frog at. He has a book that I think one of your characters, I don't know who. It may not be one of the three that could do it, but still, it's all good. So I'm just going to park my other character for now. I think you can't go over there. Yeah, I try to separate some build. The only way to go over there is actually teleport over there. I just found that out. Still, I'm just going to go over there really uh, quick. And I'll uh, see what I need to uh, do for, with Sibyl. In case she does need to uh, disable traps or something. Alright, we'll get through the rats really quick. And I don't think anything's there. Yeah, look like there's no cage. Yeah, you gotta teleport through. I just want to show you why. Oh, you won't take it off me. You won't take it off me. The book. Atlas's book. You won't take it off me. There's no doors to lockpick. So only way to do is teleport. Yeah, we're going to just use our uh, character who could teleport. Or uh, use magic. Yeah, use magic. Then you teleport over there to loot the body. So I'm going to do that now. Since I am to be able to do it, I can't tell Kinesis to buy you, unfortunately. I don't have enough high points for that. Well, uh, I'm over there, so I'm going to be careful. Loot the uh, body. And there's the book. This will uh, teach you the recipe. However, I'm going to show you all how to do it anyways. This game's experimentation crafting is great. Like I said before, crafting improved greatly. So while I'm waiting for that to cool down, I'm getting some built the heck out of there. Okay, she's a little bit uh, hurt right now. Yeah, poison. Ooh, exploding rats. So I'm going to go over there, and then we're going to grab one of my characters. Yeah, she's going to heal her up, and this should uh, do it. And voila, she's all right. She's going to be regenerating health. So now I'm going to go back to Ifan and teleport out of there. I had to kill an innocent, but oh well. Check the bodies, because, yeah, that lucky charm skill might pop in. I'm just taking stuff. Next thing is I'm going to show you all when the close is clear or I'm out of there safely or I'll probably show it. I'll see. It's actually how to uh, craft the second potion. The first one's easy to find. The second one you got to make. Otherwise, if you don't get the augmenter, cloister wood, the second green is nearby and the eyes inside the house. So what I'm going to do is uh, carefully uh, move on forward. And you want to make sure if you want a perfect turn in, you just uh, get a potion two of them you don't want to like decide one person or the other it's not cool that way and there you go I'm healed up so what I'm gonna do is uh get everybody together then I'm gonna craft yep this is a good time to craft everything up so I'm just gonna go ahead and move everything on certain characters see if they can read it yeah I don't think anybody else could read that but oh well it was supposed to tell you one of the characters that reads it or translates it could also uh tell you how to actually make the potion but we'll do experimentation. That's much better anyways. It's more fun that way. I'll uh, put timestamps in the video on the three ingredients you do need to combine the second potion. This makes things a lot more easier. So I'm just reorganizing my characters right now in my preferable order. And now I'm going to go ahead and go into the crafting system. Okay, um, and so you need to do is get the flower that you use for heal potions. Yeah. You heard me, th that type of flower. So I'm going to go down there, look really quick. Should be here somewhere. For some reason, sometimes it uh, organizes it way too well. There's that flower. Then you're going to need this one. I believe it starts with a B. Yeah. That one. And then I think the other one is, uh, let's see here, the I. Yeah, I should be down there. Combine those three. Then you get the potion and you're all set to good to go. And what I'm going to do is, it's been a while since I craft it. <laughs> I'll probably be doing more crafting in this video anyways. Voila, there's the potion. We got two of them. So that is two of two. Now we get to cure both cows. Unless they're lying and we'll uh, murder them. But I don't think they're lying at this point. Besides, the uh, like I said before, this quest could take you a long time. Because you're going to fight in the witch. Look for the augmented flower. Or it could be taking a real short time by doing some breaking and entry. Which I'm going to say, Beaver Skill does have his uses. I mean, some real nice uses. We'll ignore, ignore that Toad because the Toad's like, okay, you guys can go in. Whatever. So now, next part is we're going to turn in tree like cattle. And we'll get ourselves a nice reward. So I'm going to turn the both potions in, then I'll return after it's done. Did you get it? Did you get the potion? Oh, I only need one. Geraldine, that's great news. One each. 
These will take effect any moment now. I can't thank you enough. Thank you. Is that thanks enough? My potion's starting to work, Mabel. Here we go. Never see an That's order again. better. It'll be too soon. Glad to see you. You still have my gratitude. Thanks for keeping quiet about, you know. Oh, gods. Look, just go. I've grown quite fond oh, of Oh, hi. Skin. Nice to see you. Bye, then. Are you regretting asking for my milk? That'll teach you to make assumptions. Now, that one is done treated like cattle. I kind of felt bad why I tried to ask earlier. I just wanted to see her for a gut reaction, which was pretty funny. Now, the next one is business rival. So, let me go ahead and explain on what's that. Now, a few months ago, I did this uh, side quest. Started up with Grog, saying, go kill my business partner. If you speak to Marge, M-A-R-G, the troll... That troll says go kill Grog. Yeah, they want to kill each other. They're just using you as a mill person. Now, here's my uh, personal preference. I try both out for uh, giggles after I finish this up. So, let me explain. Grog has a better reward. Marge doesn't. Marge just charges you more money. Grog will get you a skill to learn whoever is talking. So, I'm using my main guy to talk because it uh, gives me a nice ability based on my armor percentage. Or how much armor I have at the time. It's the amount of damage I do. Which is really nice though. It's a nice earth skill. So I might put some points in that in the future. I'm going to separate everybody. Because this is going to be a tough battle. Marge. Yeah. You want to do is poison it. And reason why. Troll blood. Otherwise they regen a seen amount of hit points per round. And it's not good. Grog is fire. But we're doing Marge. So poison. And uh, let's see here. Marge can be frozen. You're going to see that through the battle. I let uh, where you call it regen slip. After that, no. I was on key. Keep on poisoning your foe. And that's it. So like for two rounds. Also do some CC too. So this way, this troll doesn't attack. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. I'll return after it's defeated. Oh, hello there. A fine day it is. And the finest day for a wee saunter through the trees it is too. Not even any void woken left to spoil it. Isn't a healthy business environment just wonderful? Grog and his pathetic bridge give me just the little kick of competition I need to improve my service. And increase my prices. Marge bats his eyelashes at you. You can't quite tell whether he's serious or not. Hey, what? After all we've been through together. Truly, who has the finer bridge here? You should be working on eliminating the weakest link. Which, in case it isn't crystal clear, is Grog. Well, good. Oh, that's not so nice. Not so nice at all.
That's not nice at all. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. That is how you kill a troll. Yes. Just make sure you put his weakness on and that's it. So T is for trolls. It's the book that will tell you their weakness. It's a little hint, but it is very neat. And I'm going to say this right now. That was really fun fight. That was a well worthy encounter. And I'm glad though. I tried the other method of defeating the other troll. Yeah, I got the same result. However... I felt like that Marge was not rewarding. Instead, Marge charged more money after it. Before that, Marge charged you like a few gold pieces, like three, and then you could persuade it down to one. Still, it was well worth doing this side quest because it's really funny. So I'm going to loot everything up. Then I'm going to transport back into a town and go the long way. I do not want to go through Cloisterwood because, yeah, that's going to be for a future video sometime in the distant future or not distant future probably a week or two but still or less 
So I'm going to just uh, do now is just simply go back to uh, Grog, our uh, new troll pal, and tell him the good news. And tell him, yeah, I completed this uh, side quest. Your uh, rival's dead, and you get to have fun. And the great news is that Grog will actually leave that bridge and go to the other bridge to charge money. And, of course, like I said before, you get a nice earth skill based on how much armor your character has. Here's my advice about that. I give it to someone that does a whole bunch of uh, damage with a whole bunch of armor. Like my character with a two-handed weapon that's in heavy armor with a hefty strength requirement. Yeah, those uh, strength armor does have a lot of that armor in there, of course. So I'm just going to do now is uh, next is actually turn this sucker in and that's that. And get my reward and my new skill. So let's uh, just uh, do it. Back so soon. Uh oh. He shoots you a patronizing smile. The most infuriating smile you've ever seen in all your years on this earth. Good for you. Good for you, Cuckoo. I know you wanted to impress me, and that's adorable. How about this? I'll let you know a little secret so you can be more like me. And feel free to cross this dung heap. I'm off to sew an armchair out of Marg's corpse on my new improved bridge. Yeah, that crossbow, I'm not passing up. The damage on it is great. So let me give a nice recap for today's video why I switch out items. First of all, I did treat it like cattle the easy way without going to cloister wood and fighting an extra battle with a little bit of thievery. And of course, made two potions for that. I finally finished business rivals and took out Marge the troll. And Grog here gave me a new skill to use. Now our next video, I will be going west this time and finish another long overdue side quest. Also visit Stone Garden. Well, this is it for my Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition Chapter 4 Reaper's Coast Treat Like Cattle and Business Rival video. This is Lordfent signing off. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more Divinity Original Sin 2 content like this. If you do like what you see, check out the upper right hand corner videos for my suggestion on the lower right hand corner for video suggestion from YouTube. Thank you for watching everyone and have a wonderful day or night.